This really isn't going to work, is it? Right, back to the drawing board. Welcome or welcome back to Harris. This week we're carrying on with the mini lathe project and making a belt tensioner. So this is where we left it last week. This belt is really a bit slack. If we leave it like that, my feeling is it's going to skip teeth if any significant torque is applied to the part that's being machined. So here's my crazy plan is to take this angle piece um, pivot it on there put this bearing use it as a jockey wheel I've just had a real stroke of luck actually I thought I was going to have to make a sleeve to step down the 8mm bore of that of the, uh, of the bearing, the jockey wheel um, to fit the 6mm stud, the M6 stud, as you can see, wavering around, which would have been fine. I'd probably have done it uh, out of brass. As it happened, I was looking through my, uh, my M6 drawer, and Waddy and I got something that absolutely fits perfectly there, and is already threaded to take M6. Okay, with one of those little ironies of fate that uh, make life so interesting, I found out that, in fact, it wasn't threaded all the way down. So, um, actually, I parted off right where the solid bit starts at the end, which I wasn't aware of. So, I have two choices here. I can either drill that out and thread it, and retain the utility of just having a single piece that uh, I can then screw on, or... I can use this threaded piece which I've just parted off, part um, another piece off that to the correct length uh, and find myself another 6mm um, bolt to go in the end. I quite like having this as a single piece so I'm going to have a go at um, drilling and threading that. I'm not going to get that many threads but maybe I don't need to, I don't know. So here we go, here's our little uh, um, little spacer and cap. We'll screw into there. Okay, that's the first piece of the puzzle, I think. Um, that's screwed on the top there. It's obviously not attached at the moment. What I'm going to do is with that spacer welded on, so it will essentially be a, a threaded, um, almost like a threaded insert. Okay, so we've had to have a change of plan here. Um, our original plan of kind of hinging off here, there just simply wasn't room, to be honest. You'd have the, the wheel on there, and then some, kind of, and some kind of curved groove along there for a nut to travel along so that we could get the right angle and then bolt it in place. And there just wasn't enough room. So the cutting plan now is to have a slider arrangement. I've mounted the wheel on the end of this bit of bar. I mounted it slightly offset so that the angles worked. And I don't know if you can see, this is a bit of square section tube I happen to have, it's about three inches long. And the idea now is to have this as a, a sliding up and down. So that slides down and tensions it, and slides up when you want to change the belt. The beauty of that is that there are no long curved slots to be milled which makes life considerably simpler. I weld a trap nut at the top, trap nut at the bottom and then run two bolts through. That will be enough to pin the... that will be enough to pin this wheel bar against it on the inside um, and then drill straight through uh, the top here and screw this to the side of the headstock. 
So uh, it kind of became apparent at this stage that drilling holes through the tube itself wasn't going to work. For one thing, I completely stuffed up and um, did my fixing holes in the same relative position as the, the bolts that were pinning the wheel bar, which meant that they conflicted, that the heads of the bolts were conflicting. And secondly, I needed more adjustment so I decided to cut a piece of steel out and weld a tab on um, and mill slots in the tab and that would give me the adjustment I needed. So this is the final shape I've ended up with. You can see how that um, tab piece goes on there with the slots. This now gives me alignment in two planes, essentially, which is all I need. OK, let's bolt it on and see how it works. So here we go. Here's the final product. Quite happy with that. That kind of worked out all right. So I think you can just see there, there are these two... Um, nuts which are pushing against the arm holding it in place so let's just spin her up and see how she does So I think I'm happy with that now. We had a few false starts. I've shown all of the missteps I took because I think sometimes it's useful to see. The design we've ended up with there I think is simple and effective and not too intrusive for anyone else who still has all the, the screw cutting gears on and so on and so forth. Clearly because I made a few missteps um, the job is a bit messier than than uh, it needed to have been. There are a few more holes in in here than there needed to have been, a few more holes in the side of the headstock. Hopefully, if this is a project you're considering yourself, you'll be able to learn from my mistakes and do a neater job right from the off. Well, that's it for this video. I'm going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching, Harris, and I hope to see you next time.